writer for 16 years. She's been writing for the New York Times for over eight years. She's covered everything from the Olympics to the NBA. And now Liz has written this book, A Race Like No Other, 26.2 miles through the streets of New York about the New York City Marathon. Liz, welcome to our studios. Thanks, Tina. And what inspired you to write this book? Everybody who runs has a story. And I wanted to tell those stories. And I think runners have a little bit of eccentricity to them. Mm -hmm. And all right, let's just say it. Runners are crazy. <laughs> and crazy people Especially make to for, run this race. That's right. <laughs> and anybody who wants to run this marathon must have a story that I wanted to tell. Do you highlight a recovering alcoholic mother, a grandmother who's running her 35th race. This, this is specifically from the 2007 marathon. Right. And a cancer survivor at 22 years old. How did you find those strong stories? We sent out an email flash to all of the applicants who got into the race. And I must have gone through 200 or 300 stories. And the story of Pam Rickard from Rocky Mount, uh, Virginia, was mm -hmm. just so touching and very, very honest. She understood what it was like to, to use running as a recovery tool. Mm -hmm. This race started in Central Park. 40 it years ago. So it people used to run loops around Central Park that first marathon. Yeah. The first race was in 1970 mm -hmm. with 127 people. And after five years, Fred had a bigger idea. Yeah. He wanted to bring it to the streets. He wanted to bring the race to the people. How did he design the course? Why, you know, why did he pick to bring mm -hmm. it through certain streets, through sure. the five boroughs? Of course, it goes to the ultra-Orthodox neighborhood in Williamsburg. And Fred's heritage is, is honored in uh, that respect. I know that was very important to him. First Avenue is just a straight shot of adrenaline, a canyon of sound going off the bridge, the 59th Street Bridge, and all the way up uh, the Upper East Side. And it is the most exhilarating spot, as you will find out. Yeah. The bridge is the iconic shot, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, of course. Oh, wow. And then you look out and you see the, the uh, fireboats spraying red, white, and mm -hmm. blue. And it, you realize that you are part of something so enormous and so special. So who were some of those other people that inspired you? I talked to a volunteer who has uh, been on the same street corner in Brooklyn for more than 30 years, Carmine Santoli. He looks forward to this every year. But we also have people who come out who are uh, priests who come out in the choirs and the band leader at Bishop Lachlan High School, mm -hmm. Louis Maffei, who leads the band in uh, the theme to Rocky. The characters who are on the sidelines mm -hmm. are as integral to the New York City Marathon as the fans and the runners themselves. Finally, Liz, you talk about the finish. What kind of emotions did you go through when you saw the people that you were profiling finish? It was an incredible day, just seeing people raising their hands at the mm -hmm. finish. Uh, I reunited with many of them on uh, Central Park West, where all the families greet uh, each other and, and wait for their runners. And just hearing their experiences and knowing how emotional it was. A race like no other. It's available in stores now. Such a vivid picture of the New York City Marathon encompasses the sport and just New York itself. Liz, wonderful job. And also to follow some of our dream teamers and myself training for the marathon, be sure to go to msg.com. We have more information there. You could read my blog and check out some pictures.